This is a film building my computer. I made this film for people that have never built a computer before. It's fun, it's easy, and you know what you're getting. I'm designing this computer. I'm on a tight budget. Mainly multimedia, play games, do video editing, and install Vista. Here are the parts. A tagging case. An MSI motherboard. A tag and power supply. A DVD burner. The CPU is an Intel E6750. Two gig sticks of Patriot memory. 160 gig hard drive. And a MSI video card. Now I'm going to put the CPU and the motherboard together. Inside the motherboard. You get the drivers for Vista and Windows XP. You get the manual and some cables. I removed the motherboard from the box and also the piece of foam on the bottom. I place it on top of the box and the anti-static bag. Then I lay the motherboard on top. This is a nice motherboard made by MSI. This is Intel. Disconnect the swing arm and move back. This will unlock the socket cover and simply remove the cover. This is the Intel CPU kit. Comes with a cooling fan and the CPU. On the bottom of the fan you will see the thermal tape. Do not touch this. Now placing the chip. Here are the alignment keys. These notches here. Remove the protective cover from the bottom of the CPU. And please do not touch these pins. After confirming the CPU direction for correct mating, put down the CPU in the socket housing frame. Visually inspect the CPU to see if it's seated well into the socket. If not, reinstall. Cover the load plate onto the CPU. Press down the load lever lightly onto the load plate. Align the holes on the motherboard with the heat sink. Push down each pin. You will hear a click. Turn over the motherboard to confirm that the pin clips are correctly inserted. Plug in the CPU cooling fan. Now the CPU and the fan are now connected to the board. Now it's time to prep the case for insulation of the motherboard CPU. This tagging case comes with everything you need to screw everything in place. I laid the wires down to the side of the case just to get them out of the way. I will remove the I.O. plate from the back of the computer. It will not be needed. You will need screws and screw nuts to install the motherboard. For now, take the screw nuts and install them on all of the plate holes that match the holes on the motherboard. The I.O. plate that came with the MSI motherboard. There are some small pieces covering some of the sockets. You must remove these small pieces. Now it's time to place the CPU and the motherboard into the case. And line up the eight screw nuts. and simply screw down. Plugging the power controls to the case. Plugging in the case speaker and the power LED. These plug wires are marked indicating where they go. Read your manual. Now plugging in the power switch, the reset switch, and the power LED I'm a big fan of MSI products. I think every one of my computers has an MSI in it. Here I'm plugging up the front USB panel. I'm inserting the hard drive and screwing it in place. Removing the ROM plate so I can insert the DVD burner. 
slide into place and screw down. I also remove the back panel of the case to finish screwing in the hard drive and the DVD burner. I place the legs, snap them in place on the bottom of the computer case. Now I'm installing Patriot 2 gigs. Each gig is a stick. This is DDR2-800. I'm removing the slot cover for the video card. I'm just moving it back and forth until it snaps off. I remove the video card from the bag and remove the packing material. This is a MSI NVIDIA video card. This is a big video card. I'm installing the video card in a PCI Express 16 slot. Just line it up, press in place, and then screw down. Now I'm going to insert the power supply. This is the Tagen ITZ U88 700 watt modular power supply. This is the best looking power supply I've ever seen in my life. In the box, it has a manual, a metal case badge, power supply rubber gasket, power cord, cables, and more cables, and even a pair of gloves. Tagen did a great job on this power supply. Best of all, this was a prize that I won from Tagen.com's form. Once again, the case is also from Tagen. I am really impressed with Tagen's products. Now I'm going to remove the power supply from its own bag. I'm so impressed with this power supply. It's just simply beautiful. I place the rubber gasket on the back of the power supply. This helps with any noise or vibration. And now I will install it into the case. I'm being careful here not to bump into anything, like the CPU fan. Now I simply install the four screws. I would suggest going to Tagen.com's form. They got a lot of helpful people there. I remove the protective film from the power supply. The power supply is now installed. With all the computer components that I've shown you today, please read your manual. It's very important. It's easy, just follow the instructions. Before I insert the power cables, I want to install the data cables for the SATA, for the hard drive, and for the DVD burner. SATA is so much better than IDE. It just has a lot more data going through these cables. I'm inserting the 24 pin main power connector into the 24 pin socket. The 12 volt 4 pin connector plugs into the 4 pin power socket. This 12 volt is actually a dual plug. You must separate the 4 plus 4. I'm installing the power cables, this is for the SATA drives, into the CPU. This is the power cable being installed for the Molex plug. I apologize for some of the camera angles. It's hard to see what I'm doing, plus having the camera film that shot. Now I'll plug up the power to the video card. And I'll plug up the power to the DVD burner and the hard drive. I turn the power on and I set up CMOS. And I install Windows Vista. I plugged up the Tagen case fan. And it's a nice fan. Nice and quiet. And it's also adjustable. Speed control. You can organize your wiring with some wire coverings and wire ties. I really like the way the tag and power supply glows. I'm really impressed with how quiet this computer is. Now for the last thing I like to do is place my case badges on my case. I hope this helps. It's fun building your own computer. It just takes time. Read your manual. Go to the forms. It's easy. You know what you're getting. Thanks.